What is going on YouTube? Lamont on the run coming to you from Bloomington, Illinois. Today I want to talk about a subject that I find quite interesting and fascinating. And that is why Disney Pixar's latest movie, Lightyear, or is it called Buzz Lightyear? One of those. Why it fizzled at the box office. I wouldn't call it bombing, but I would say it definitely, definitely did not hit the marks it was supposed to. And money-wise, it did quite underwhelming. But today we're going to list some of the reasons online why people are saying that this light year movie uh, failed at the box office because I would agree with that word. It definitely did fail. Now let's talk about it. I'm going to give you a couple reasons. Number one, Tim Allen, who voiced Buzz Lightyear throughout the other Toy Story movies, no longer was in this movie reprising his role. Now, I don't know if it's because uh, he no longer wanted to do it, he wanted more money, or he has too much money and he just doesn't feel like messing with it anymore. I mean, how much money has that guy made in his life? I mean, come on now, let's keep it real. So the voice was voiced by, excuse me, the character was voiced by Chris Evans, whoever the hell that is. Is that the guy from the Batman movies where he played Robin? I don't know. So there's that reason. Uh, another reason is stiff competition from the box office. You had Lightyear opening up with Jurassic Park, which opened the week previous, and of course, Top Gun, number two, with Tom Cruise. Now, on its second weekend, Jurassic Park took in $58 million. Lightyear took in, in its first weekend, $51 million. That's not good. From what I remember, Toy Stories, usually in the opening weekend, would bring in about 70 some odd, 80 some odd million dollars. So you have stiff competition at the box office. Another reason why people are saying that this movie possibly failed was because it was marketed towards a different audience. In years past, uh, Toy Story is marketed towards, oh, kids, you know, because kids do silly things like, you know, liking to go to the movies, buying toys, the Toy Story. It's a genius, genius um, idea, if I do say so myself. They felt that this movie was geared more towards a uh, older audience. Uh, maybe they were trying to market it towards adults who would then bring in their children versus children begging their parents, please take me to the movies. Please take me to the movies. Please take me to the movies. Please. Oh, you know, they'll just keep bothering you. Another reason they're saying why this movie quote unquote failed, not necessarily bombed at the box office is because, well, there's this uh, streaming service called Disney Plus and maybe people were confused about this movie being readily available on Disney Plus versus them going to the movies. They weren't sure what to do about that, right? They were saying, hey, are we gonna go? Are we gonna go to the movies? Or is this coming on a streaming thing? How long is it gonna take until it's on the streaming app? They're saying this, they're saying that. So maybe people didn't want to go to the movies. Maybe they just wanted to wait for it to, you know, come on whatever the Disney Plus, right? Right, okay, cool. But let's point our fingers at the elephant in the room, shall we? And that elephant, of course, is the same sex kiss that was done between two girl slash women characters in the movie. Very, very controversial, would you not say so? So in the movie, you had two characters, I guess characters of color or something like that. And 
they shared a same-sex lesbian kiss. Maybe people didn't like that. Maybe people don't want to bring their children to a movie where they all of a sudden want to introduce the topic of sex. Yeah, sure. Boys and girls kiss all the time in cartoons. Uh, you know, Beauty and the Beast, the Princess, uh, Snow White, whatever. But it's normal for us to see a man kissing a woman. But to see two girls kissing and you're bringing your eight-year-old child to the movie, he or she's probably going to wonder, hey, mom, hey, dad, why are these two girls kissing? Girls don't kiss girls. Boys kiss girls. Girls kiss boys. Turtles kiss turtles, right? Quite possible. This movie was banned in about 14 countries, most of them being in the Middle East, so you're going to lose a lot of your fan base in said, uh, you know, movie money showbiz thing. People are going to hear that and listen to that and say like, oh, okay, maybe I don't want to bring my kid if Yemen <laughs> banned the movie. I'm not sure. I don't think China banned the movie, but if China would have done anything, hey, doggy, they would have probably told them that they were going to cut out that part of them kissing, right? Okay, so here's how I'm going to end this video. I don't have any children. You never know. I could one day have children, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. I personally, I don't feel I'm better than anybody else. I mean, for God's sake, I live in a van. Come on. By the way, this cat food here is really, really expensive. $40? Are you kidding me? Come on. $40? Come on. Who's paying that? Who could afford that? Please. Anyways. As a parent, if I had a child, right? I'm a conservative person, in case you guys don't know this. Now, I'm not rigidly far-right conservative, but I am conservative. Like, I think family is important. I, I think that uh, a mother and dad in the home is important. Um, I'm not religious, but I do believe in God, and I do believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I am a sinner, and I am no better than anybody else, like I previously explained. I think there are certain things that children should not see or hear. If I had a child, I would not my child I would not want my child to be listening to very raunchy gangster-ish rap music or any music of that kind. I don't want them listening to that. There's a place and a time for a child, probably school, where they start you know, you don't have much control over them when they're in, you know, elementary, junior high. They're going to start uh, looking at that stuff themselves, right? But you want to at least stave off the indoctrination of whatever you think is wrong or bad for children to listen or to watch as long as possible. You don't want to bring your child to a movie where you have to explain to them all this kind of sex stuff. Now, if they're 13 or 14, it's a different story. Different story, right? But when you're bringing a child to a movie and they're six, right? They're six years old. And you see the two girls kissing. Okay, some of you will say, all right, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with two girl cartoons kissing but I always say what I say is where does it end when do we stop there's always a beginning right there's always a beginning to anything that people want in society correct for instance uh, and I'm just using this as an example but this is a true example so back in the mid 90s gays wanted to get married right and, you know, there's people on the uh, Democratic Party and the Republican Party say, yeah, no, uh, marriage is a civil, is a sacred union between a man and a woman. We can't have this, blah, 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 right? 
Just getting votes. They probably don't care if you clowns get married. I don't care if any clowns get married. If you want to make each other miserable for the next 30 some odd years, go right on ahead. So at first they got civil union, right? Uh, civil, making a civil union, you know? And then all of a sudden they wanted the right to get married. They wanted to be recognized as a real married, legally married couple. And then they eventually won that right. And then now you fast forward today, you have uh, men dressed up as demons reading stories to your children. Drag time story hour. What I'm trying to say is this. No matter what any particular sector of the population that, you know, whether you're the majority, you're the minority, you feel that you're marginalized, whatever. You don't just stop at one. If somebody lets you pass and you get to square one, you don't just stop there because there's going to be something more that you want. You know, it's that proverbial saying, if you give an inch they'll take a mile. And that's always true with most, if not everything in life. Correct? Correct. So you have this, you have this thing where they could have easily, they could have easily said, hey, listen, let's have two guys kiss. But they didn't do that because they felt that it was a little bit too much. It was a little bit too much maybe we should back off a little bit and maybe we should just have the girls kiss kind of start off slow start off light and then we'll advance it later on and that's what they mean to do they're gonna do that later on they're going to they're going to push the envelope okay it starts with two females kissing where does it end do you think it ends there of course not because then it goes to two guys kissing. And then it goes to maybe a romance story between two, an astronaut and a fireman. Whatever they, case, whatever they might do. And then next thing you know, your 10-year-old child is saying that he's a girl. <laughs> he's a boy. It really, I believe, happens just like that. I'll conclude this video by saying this. I don't care what you do with your life. You want to marry a porcupine, you want to identify as a giraffe, uh, you're really Asian when you were born in Kenya, go right on ahead. I could care less. As long as you're not hurting other people, go ahead and live your life. But when you force your opinions and your beliefs on others and they have to coincide with your thoughts and your mind and change the language in which we speak just to appease you, that is what I am against. Okay, I'm not in the business of disrespecting people but at the same time i'm not in the business of changing my language just because you feel that today you're a woman but then you're a polyamorous uh a bingo warrior on thursday you know there has to be a line drawn in the sand and there definitely is a culture war brewing in america now i don't care if you're watching this video if you happen to be gay you got to recognize that the gay LGBTQIA plus community has one thing. They have one thing that they identify with, and that is, drum roll please, sex. That's their identity, is sex. Now you can have that as an identity. You can have that as whatever you want. You call it a kink, you call it whatever you want. But to introduce children into that lifestyle at the age of four, at the age of five, I mean, it, it, it don't matter if you're gay or straight or lesbian or, or, or you're transgender, gender fluid, non-binary, whatever words you want to use. You have to agree. And as being a civil minded adult, you have to agree that it is not it is not a good idea to indoctrinate children at a young age. If you want to do it when they're 13, 14, go on ahead because they probably already watch pornography and have seen naked chicks in front of the man anyways. But when they're six, hey. All I got to say is this, leave the six-year-olds alone, leave the seven-year-olds alone, leave the eight-year-olds alone, okay? Maybe, maybe there's a time and a place for this, but at, for cartoons, it's not now. That's why that movie flopped, and I'm glad it did, because, hey, there's Christians out there, there's fit people that have family uh, conservative values, and they're being demonized, we're being demonized, and it's not right. Leave those kids alone, let them discover it out on their own. Don't thrust it in their face. Let them find out for themselves when they get to a proper age. Anyways, guys, I am out. I don't know how I even got here. I went from looking at dogs to looking at bicycles. So it's such is, such is the life that I lead. Catch up with y'all later. Have a good one. Peace out.